Hi, it's Zolfin. In this video, we're gonna model parts in Autodesk Inventor, specifically the 2022 version. But if you have the older or the newer version, the feature is basically the same, so don't worry. If you see my video about hand winch animation, you can see there are a lot of parts here. So we're gonna try to model each part, and I'm gonna separate the video for each part, so you can easily index the part on my channel playlist. So we're gonna make these two parts, which are part number one and part number two, since these are resemblance each other. The difference is that part number one has this feature with the M16 thread here. Then part number two has this M12 thread feature. Because of that, we're gonna make the resemblance feature first and save it with a different name, which is one and two is the part number. Then add this feature on part number one and this feature on part number two. Let's go back to Autodesk Inventor. Click new to make a new part. You can click this button here or this button. They are exactly the same button. Click metric folder here and then choose standard millimeters.ipt. Click start 2D sketch. Then choose XY plane is our first sketch plane. Now let's make this trapezoid feature first. Click line, and let's make a sketch. The reason why I made half of it, is because as you can see here, it has a symmetrical shape. So we can make half of it, then mirror the feature later. Let's give this sketch some dimensions. Finish sketch by press the S button on your keyboard. Then press E button to extrude. We have created the half body, so let's mirror it by clicking the mirror tool here. Select this feature to be mirrored, then click mirror plane. Then click this face as the mirror plane. Then click OK. Next, we're gonna make this mounting foot. Press the S button to create a new sketch, and click this face as the sketch plane. It is my habit to using project cut edge, and make the projection into structure line. I find it easy to locate some point, but you can skip it if you don't like it. Make a rectangle, see how I can easily find the point. Finish sketch and extrude. Change the direction and then click OK. Next, we're going to make these ribs. As we can see here, the rib's outer face has 170 millimeters in distance. So we need to make a plane first as a sketch plane. Click this plane. Then click plane tool here, and then click and drag like this, and fill the dimension. Make a sketch on this plane, click Project Cut Edge, and make the projection into Structure Line. Press the L button to make a line. Then make the rib sketch and give it dimensions. Click Rib, and set the tool as needed. Click this line as a rib profile. Fill the dimension, then change the direction, then click OK. Let's mirror this rib. Click the mirror tool here, and click the rib that will be the mirrored feature. Choose this plane as the mirror plane, then click OK. Next, we're going to make this feature. Create a new sketch on this plane and make this sketch. Make this center of circle vertical with this point.
As you can see, these line and arc are not tangent each other, so make it tangent. I'm gonna make a line here. So, besides that we can mirror feature, you can also mirror the sketch, and in this step, we're gonna try it, so this line gonna be our mirror line. Let's mirror this sketch. Click the mirror tool here. And then select these line that will be mirrored. Click this mirror line button, and click this line as the mirror line. Then click done. This line here is not necessary, so we're gonna trim it. Click the trim tool here, and choose the line that you want to trim. Finish sketch and extrude. The value is already 10 millimeters, so click OK. Next we're gonna make these three similar feature here. Make a sketch on this plane. Click project cut edge, and make the projection into structure line. Make a circle here by pressing Ctrl, Shift and C button, then fill the dimension. Make a plane, click this face and drag, fill the dimension. Make a sketch on this plane. Click project geometry, and click the previous circle so we get the center line. Then make a circle again. Click loft. Select the first circle and select the second circle. Then click OK. So as you can see here, it has a tapper face just like the drawing. Go ahead let's make a sketch on this face. Click project geometry, and project the 47mm circle here, so we don't have to make a circle anymore. Execute extrusion. Then fill the dimension. Next, let's make a hole by click the hole tool here. Select this face as the hole start point, then click this edge, so the hole will be concentric with it. Select the plane hole option here, and set the diameter of the hole. Select through all, then click OK. Now, we're gonna make this hole. Make a plane slicing the first hole. Then make a sketch on this plane. Select this three points rectangle tool. Make this line as a center line. Then give the sketch dimensions.
Finish sketch and then press R button to revolve. Change the boolean to cut, then click OK. Even though we have these three exact same features, we can only copy this feature to this by the mirror tool. Then we have to create this feature all the way from the beginning. So click mirror tool here. Select all these features. Click mirror plane here, then select this axis as the mirror plane. Now we're going to make the bottom feature. I'm going to speed up the video because it's going to be the same with the previous steps. If this also happens to you, make sure that there is no line past the whole sketch. If there is any of it, it will make the selection gonna be this way, so I prefer to make it a structure line. Then repeat the revolve. Let's go ahead to make these two holes here. Create a sketch on this face. Make a line. We're going to make the endpoints of this line as the whole center point. Finish sketch and then click hold tool here. Select the endpoints of the line as the center point. Fill the diameter of the hole, then click OK. Next we're going to make this feature. Create a sketch on this face. Create a circle and make it vertically aligned with this point. Then give it dimensions. It seems like the circle is still not aligned, so repeat the alignment, then finish sketch. As you can see, the front and the rear circle have the same diameter, so we can use the sketch for these two circle. Extrude, select the circle, then click a symmetrical direction and fill the dimension. Then click OK. Let's make the 13mm hole here, press the H button. Select this face, and then this edge. Fill the dimension, then click OK. Next, we're going to make these two mounting holes here. Create a sketch on this face. Create a line for the whole center point. Make the middle point of the line vertically aligned with this point. Then finish sketch. Execute the hole tool. Select the plane hole, it's already through all. 
Then select the endpoints of the line. Fill the diameter, then click OK. As we can see, almost all of the edge of this part is rounded feature, so we're gonna make it next. Press the F button to execute the fillet function, and fill it all the edges by changing the radius, click the edge, and then click apply. Repeat until all edges that have to be rounded are done. Well, here we have the basic shape of part number 1 and part number 2. Save as the file, and name it as part 2. Let's go back to the part number 1 first. Then we're gonna make this feature for part number 1. Create a sketch on this face. Make a circle and give dimensions. Finish sketch then extrude. This same as before, we can use asymmetrical extrude for this feature. So select asymmetric here, fill the dimensions. And click OK. Press the H button for hole tool. Select this face. Select this threaded hole option. Select isometric profiles then select M16. Select this edge so to make the hole concentric. And click OK. Press the F button to fill it. It's already 2 millimeters, so select these edges. Part 1 is done, let's go to part 2. So, part 2 has this thread feature here. Create a sketch on this face. Make a point and give it dimensions. You can also just make a line instead, but adding point make you don't have to select the center point of the hole. Press the H button for hole tool. And select M12, then click OK. Part number 2 is also done. Well, that's it, give it a try. If there is any question about this video, please let me know. See you on the next video.